taking a break can be scary. I am talking about taking a real break of three, four months, maybe even longer, not our annual holidays. And don't get me wrong, lying at the beach, maybe sipping a cocktail, that isn't scary at all. But our brains do not stop there. They want to think about the consequences afterwards, such as, if I take a break now, will I be passed over for promotion? If I take a break, will Linda from accounting get all the pet projects that actually I want to have? Or closer to home, if I take a break from producing YouTube videos, will everybody go away and nobody watches my videos afterwards? Many of us vote that after coronavirus, we will start traveling again. We spend more time with our family. We want to pursue that career that always seemed a little bit too risky. And now that in many parts of the world life has returned to normal, we're not so sure anymore. Today, we talk about some of the benefits and a few downsides of taking a break. I will share with you past and more recent experiences of myself that hopefully can help you make a decision easier. And we start with the biggest benefit of all, which is a simple question. Do I miss it? I've been very fortunate in the past that I could take breaks between jobs, between careers, and of course, here on YouTube. And usually in the first few weeks, you try to relax and enjoy the new you and just want to put all the other thoughts, the looming consequences out of your mind. But very naturally, after a few weeks of doing nothing or whatever you decided to do in your break, you start to think back to your job, to your career, to what you were doing before, and the question very naturally comes to you, do you miss it? I've taken breaks from a career that I absolutely loved. And yet my answer to that question was, no, I didn't miss it. Does that mean I had to leave it immediately and become a monk or a digital nomad? Absolutely not. But it gives you great insight into your thinking. On the other hand, in the last three months, I traveled over 5,000 miles in less than 60 days. And I thought to myself, I can handle all of that and produce videos here on this channel at the same time. And yet I had to admit defeat. It was just not possible. And the concern was real. Would I forget how to edit? Would I maybe return and have no views at all? I was glad traveling and very likely you'll see a lot of the footage in the coming weeks and months. But after a few weeks, the same question arose. Do I miss it? Do I miss making videos here on this platform? And the answer was a hell yes. I couldn't wait to get started again, to share my thoughts, to produce videos regardless of the outcome. And that leads me to the biggest benefit of taking a break, which is if you're able to do that, it gives you a whole new clarity about the things you do. The other benefit you will notice is that even if your answer is a hell yes, you gain a new perspective on your priorities. In the day-to-day -day grind of work, we very easily forget what is truly important and we accumulate tasks that may very well hold no value in our end outcome. So here's the thing to do when you get back to work after your break. Ask the person who handled matters in your absence what they didn't do. Use those fresh pair of eyes to notice what works, what doesn't work, and where you can focus your energy next. Now, there are downsides of taking a longer break. You may not forget how to do your job, but it'll surely take you a longer time to do certain tasks. Maybe tasks that you aced before will now take a little bit more brain to do, will take a little bit more time. When I was doing flying, we had something called recency, where in any particular three months period, you had to do a certain number of flights. And if you didn't do those flights, you had to go back and do some flights with a trainer for your own and everybody else's safety. Expect the same when you return from a longer break. And if you work in a larger organization, then whether you like it or not, office politics will always play a role. And with yourself being out of the office for a significant period of time, you may have lost out on some of that. So also expect to spend a lot more time on networking internally within your organization. And finally, Say you decide that your answer is, no, you don't miss it. You want to change, you want to do something else. That may not be possible immediately. Maybe you have to sort out your finances first. Maybe you have to truly think about what you want to do. Or you may even have to relocate to another place where you can achieve what you want to do. Now, it is much harder to return to your old job with all those things going on in your head. But make a promise to yourself 
that in that situation you still perform to the best of your capabilities because your work ethic in that situation will directly relate to the work ethic that you will have after the change and that's where you truly need it. So, should you take a break? I believe that the positives outweigh the negatives of taking a longer time away from your job or your career. It's also a win-win situation. If you truly realize that you miss it, you come back with a lot more positivity and energy. And if you decide that at this particular part of your life, you are better off doing something else, well, that gives you energy too, and a lot more clarity of what to do next. The only thing I would caution against is to take a break when you are maybe fed up with your work or you are mentally in a bad place. Because in that situation, no matter where you go, you'll carry all these thoughts with you and you're not able to make an objective decision. Let me know in the comment section below what the biggest fears are that you face when making a change. And maybe some of them are already addressed in the video over here. I wish you an amazing week and can't wait to see you in the next one.